some of the challenges that we've had um, this past year uh, have to do with government. Um, the uh, state of Nevada remits money back to us that we have collected for them uh, in terms of taxes. Um, the formula is called combined tax, and the formula for combined tax was diminished considerably, or will be diminished considerably uh, for the next fiscal year. We'll be losing about a million dollars. In fact, just a little over a million dollars. That's, that's a big hit for a city our size. Um, some of the other um, uh, cost issues that we've had this year uh, are health insurance. Uh, we're next fiscal year, uh, excuse me. Uh, health insurance is going up for municipal employees. Uh, we've factored in 5% in the upcoming budget on that. Um, and our state retirement uh, has gone up as well. The city pays that for, uh, for employees. And that's a cost that we, we have to, to bear. Um, some of the other challenges we've had over the years, uh, obviously it's not new to anybody that the economy has, uh, has not been healthy the last few years. Um, as a consequence, the city has uh, cut some 30 positions uh, since 2010. Um, these are positions where there has been diminished demand. We really didn't have the need. We had one part, we actually had two departments combined into one. Uh, at one time, uh, we had a separate planning department. Now planning is part of our development services department. At one time, we had several planners. Now we actually have two. So again, this is reflective of the economy. Um, the 2013-14 budget doesn't offer us a whole lot more hope. We do hope the economy picks up regionally. Um, if that happens, it helps everybody in the community, primarily the businesses. Uh, we have three bargaining units in the, in the city. Uh, we have two, con two three-year contracts coming up uh, this year. We're in negotiations with um, Teamsters um, and with fire departments. Uh, together, they represent about 79 employees. Uh, next year, we'll have uh, Can hear me? Better. Better? Okay. Um, as I mentioned, we have uh, uh, approximately 79 employees represented by the two bargaining units that I mentioned. Um, and uh, our police union contract, MPOA, is coming up uh, about this time next year. Um, so those are some of the challenges that we've, we've, been, uh, we've been wrestling with. Okay. Sandra. How long have the negotiations been in pro process and how close are you to resolving them? Uh, not terribly close. Uh, we have been um, in negotiations, negotiations since uh, earlier this month. We have meetings scheduled uh, until, uh, until into, into August. Uh, one of the problems that we've run into is that um, there are a number of absences on the negotiating team. And to get all the players uh, in the same room at the same time uh, has slowed us down a little bit. So uh, we will not be done uh, negotiating contracts um, when the new budget goes into effect, um, any changes in the budget will have to be, uh, as a result of the contract negotiations, will have to be made subsequent to, to that happening. So we've, we've, we're a way up from having this happen at this point. Okay. 